All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome y'all to episode six of Weekly Views. Today, I got black excellence in the room with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Author, father, bar spitter, go ahead and podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Who we got? Yo, it's Kai Phoenix from the West Side, Marbot. You know what I'm saying? It's good to be amongst the bricks, man. In the bricks. Off top. Off top. I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. Appreciate you. Proud brother. of what you built. Thank you. Top boy, top blogger. <laughs> you do shame around here. I'm just <laughs> you did some. You did some big things, and I just I like what you got going on, man. Appreciate. I'm happy you. to be a part of it. Appreciate. It. Speaking of top boy, so mm-hmm. we had we had to, to summer house today, bruv. Let's talk about it, bruv. Season three. You happy how it ended? No. I I think I think they deserved more. Now, if you look at the ending, if you know any of these type of experiences, it ended how it's supposed to end. But when you build characters up so big and they're so large, for them to die so small, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I don't like it. And if you look at the background on it, they weren't happy how they said it was high tension. Um, they really had to fight for how they wanted the season to go. And the season started fire, but the way it ended, it was like, for them to die so small. Man, nah. you know, one of, one of the, the, the key things that I loved about this season was we got to take a look at the justicism in the UK. For sure. When, when you see how they're dealing with the immigration stuff and when you, when you see Karen is about to get deported and how the whole community just rallied around. Came and, together, yeah. And, and, you know, they're setting fires on that. It was like, dang, like they deal with some of the same stuff that we deal with they just the, yeah they for sure dealt with it differently because in the united states they would have beat all the motherfuckers <laughs> they would have dragged them all through the streets or would they, they would have done some sort of pepper spray or something like that they're gonna they're gonna get you out of there immigration gonna get you out of there but i i really like the development of jack yeah her character like when she went and um sat with the young lady and saw how she was treating her kid and that changed that was that was a real episode right there. Yeah, it was a, it was a definitely a, it was definitely even an eye opener of, you know, her sister passing away. Yeah. And you see she's you see more emotion from her now. I didn't see that shit coming. You see you see more emotion for her now. It was kind of like in in a way with Top Boy when we think of UK, we think of we think of soccer, we think of all this other stuff. We don't realize that the the blacks over there, they go through issues. Right. And, and that, that, a lot of that stuff is not televised. So I think what Top Boy, we got to see the experience firsthand. For sure. If you weren't tuned into the grime scene and everything, like they're trying to introduce it, they got a whole movement going on over there that is with Stormzy and Getz and those. It, once you see that scene, it's the same thing with Afrobeats in, in Africa. Like in America, we, we're self-centered. We think it's all about us, but they got their own scene and they're not really worried about us. They're not out there copying us. They're up there building their own scenes, their own music scenes and stuff like that. It's, it's really good to see. You know, I was real upset that I didn't get to see the relationship with, with Steph and his older brother, Aaron. It was kind of like, where was he? We didn't get to see it. I think they dropped the ball on that. He just disappeared. Like they just didn't show him at... Did, was he on there at, at all? No, nah, he, he, he wasn't on there. So I thought that was very important, especially seeing Jane, the, the older brother, passes away. Right. You need to see that relationship of how they're interacting with one another. He just was by himself out there. Trying to find his way. Who, who do you say is the, the villain in this season? We say Sully. Sully, right? Sully, yeah. They had a villain... But they're not as scared. You know, they had better villains than what they had. And they killed them so easily. And he was actually, you know, the, the dude is actually a star. Like on movies and whatnot. They killed him so easily. They killed him so fast. Sully is the bad guy. And he, you know, he's going down that dark journey. But he's like, every, he's still everybody's favorite character. Yeah. I, I would have I loved to see more scenes from Kieran. Um, especially with that deport, you know. Yeah, him getting deported. I think I would have loved to see. I would have loved to see more scenes with the Irish. You know, it was kind of like it just came in, and it came in, it came and went. It was kind of like, like you said, it started off good. Yeah, and I feel like 
six episodes. I'm thinking maybe they're going to pull an Ozark and come back, you know, with six more episodes. That was it. I was like, what? Like, it, it, it must have been some real, some real tension going on there. They really must have really wanted to end that show. But is that not the best UK show we've seen? I mean, Luther was good. But this is like literally the best show that I've seen. Well, at least more relatable. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know what the big deal was. I was excited for season three. Uh, yeah, I was excited. Now, I want to ask you, like, out of all the seasons, who, who, who's your favorite character you like the most? It's hard between Duchesne and Sully because you like them both for different reasons. As a writer, I like Sully because Sully makes you feel any character that makes you hate them. If you're a writer, you love those kind because at least you feel something because that's what you want to do. I want to get you invested. You know who Sully reminds me? Sully reminds me of, of Marlo a little bit. Just not as oh, not man. as aggressive, but we about to we about to get real controversial in here. But not he's he's there he's there Marlo. Uh huh. He he's there Marlo. Just the aggressiveness. You hate him. I I hate Marlo. Now Marlo. you only got four seasons for those who know. Right. Of Top Boy. Summer House. As compared to The Wire, which show you like better? I gotta go with The Wire though. Why? You can relate to it. <laughs> I've seen it. Just, just. <sighs> Let's get a little controversial, okay. bro. Okay. Let's go. All bro. right, The Wire. Good show. It's a really good show because of the actors, Michael K. Williams, right? Idris. But if you really watch it and listen to it, clearly it's written by white people. Mm. It's Shakespearean. Drug shit. Mm. It's the actors that make it dope. But if you replace Michael K. Williams with Michael Ely or something like that, you'll be like, yo, this shit is whack. They, if you listen to it, it's, it sounds Shakespearean. It's like, we don't talk like that. I know you got fond memories of when it came out and you was watching it then. But really, go back and watch The Wire and listen to that shit. With Prospector and all of that shit. Now you got, now you you got me, you got me thinking. It 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 feels Shakespearean. Fucking Snowfall is clearly a superior show. Definitely. So. Definitely. Welcome to the dojo. Definitely. But Go back and listen to The Wire and listen how they talk. We don't talk like that, bro. Cause you gotta think, Jack 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 was a Jack was just another version of Snoop. Just she wasn't feared. But we got Snoop. This is what The Wire did. It was not, it's the characters, right? But it was the people who made the characters. If you listen to the dialogue, it's just like, I like it for, for what it was. But when you watch it, it was like, clearly a white person wrote this. Now, if you have to rate season three on a scale of one to ten, what, what are you rating it? I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, a six, five or six. I, I got to give it about a six. Five or six. You know, disappointed. you know which. There's two characters that I wish I would have seen more of. Curtis. Sure. Curtis was. Sure. Curtis was a gangster, and my man Modi. Yeah, <laughs> we 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 loved him. We loved him. Modi, he was a, he was a good bad. I love a good bad. You need a good bad to make the good good. The, if you got a weak bad guy, your good guy sucks. I, I we seen we seen like jailbreak scenes, but nothing like on that level. Nah, nah, nah. Mo, Modi was the shit. 